Okay, the next one is you, Councilwoman. The Mayor Pew matter not on the agenda at their weekly lunch, but on the minds of council members. I was just this minute walking over to the door thinking, we have a chance here to start anew. Some on the panel say flat out, I find this troubling. This is extremely concerning for me. This situation definitely raises concerns about what was going on at the University of Maryland medical system. I understand that people have additional questions and I'm still trying to get more information as well. I want everyone uh, that's been involved in the situation, the whole entire situation to be investigated. Not everyone willing to go that far, and we caught up with more than half the city council today. But all of them did say some version of this. There's a lot of work to be done in this city. The state legislators are looking at this along with the governor. My focus right now is on my work on the city council. Councilman Bill Henry candidly explained why some colleagues may be reluctant to weigh in. Here in City Hall, uh, there's a very uneven power dynamic between the mayor and the city council. I'm happy to say, personally, it's important to me to maintain a working relationship with the mayor and the mayor's office in the pursuit of trying to help my constituents. Constituents who have the power to make their voices heard. There's an election coming up. That's how we all express our preferences. And that's the time to do it. Several members did point out that the city council has absolutely no jurisdiction in this matter. There is also concern that a move for some sort of public statement or a public move by the council as a body could be usurped by grandstanding or political maneuvering. Live from City Hall tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. <laughs>